Hi, my name is Christine, and this is my PBV assignment video presentation on my vending machine business. I'm going to start with my introduction. My Healthy Max Smart vending machines would provide snacks and drinks. With little investment, the vending machine business has low risk and the flexibility I would like in a business. I would start off small with this business, buy one vending machine, then use the net income to invest in more. I'm very busy and choosing my own hours would be ideal. It's almost like passive income because I wouldn't have to be that hands on. When I do restock the machines, I could bring my children, teach them about the business and have a fun family outing. I wouldn't go to Whole Foods or Costco because I know the best deals are online. I would buy in bulk and try my best to keep my family out of the snack and drink room. Next, I'm going to talk about me. I have two children, Rebecca and Bradley, plus one on the way. I'm studying to be an architectural technologist and I live in Barrie. I'm currently saving money for a house and wedding, so at this point in my life, I don't have time and money, nor do I want to get a huge loan to start a business. Now I'm going to talk about my business idea details that I've split into multiple headings, starting with finance. A Healthy Max machine costs $3,000 new, but I've seen used ones in good condition go for as low as $1,000. I would spend at least $2,000 on product in bulk to start. Next, I'm going to talk about my projections, which all depend on the location. According to an article by Lindsay Kramer called, How Much Did the Average Vending Machine Earn? People can make anywhere from $5 a week to $1,000 per day. I would also like to discuss advertisement. Luckily, these machines advertise themselves with their huge size and beautiful display. Not much advertisement is needed because our consumers don't go out of their way to a vending machine. They're a place for convenience and are usually an impulse buy. When you see it, you want it. These machines also have their own LCD video display screen, an easy to change slideshow with simple USB that can be used to advertise within the machine. The screen also has the potential to earn its own revenue. If a company is interested in putting their ad on my machine, they can for a fee. Next, I'm going to talk about my business name. I asked in class if a business needs a name. Everyone laughed. In my case, my business name is not visible to the consumer because I can't alter the look of a Healthy Max machine without facing legal issues. So for tax purposes, I would name the business D. Young's Bending. D. Young is the last name of my children and fiancé. I will also have the last name one day, so I feel it's appropriate. I would also like to talk about who, what, where, and when's involved in the business, starting with who. I mentioned my fiancé, and although I could easily run the business alone, I share everything with him, and I'm sure this would be no exception. Therefore, I do have help. What would I sell? I would sell snacks like candy bars, chips, and a variety of bottled drinks, which are less risky than cans that break easily. I would change my product to fit the consumer. For example, energy and sports drinks I would put outside of athletic centers. If I had reoccurring customers and an auto body shop, for example, I would survey the employees to fill my machines with their desired snacks and beverages. If a product doesn't sell, I wouldn't continue to restock it. Instead, I would try something new. Where would I place my machines? I would place my, my machines in highly populated areas like waiting rooms, libraries, offices. Do I have to restock the machines? A bonus to owning a smart vending machine like Healthy Max would be its app. You don't have to manually check your inventory with these smart vending machines. Instead, the app will tell you when something needs to be restocked and when the coin mechanisms are empty or full. Next, I'm going to talk about how I would start my business. I would start my business from scratch, find a machine, order my inventory, and find a location. I could also take over an existing route. Although it's more expensive, I would have better projections from the previous owner. Plus, I could ask questions such as, what's your best seller? Taking over an existing business could also save the hassle of finding a location. In conclusion, it's important to include why I chose this business. I wanted to choose a business I truly thought was a possibility. I can see myself owning a, I can't see myself owning a huge company or business one day, so I chose to talk about a realistic business for my near future. It's an easier business in comparison to some that has low risk. I believe it's practical and I could potentially start this business at any time. I don't plan on owning my own architectural firm. I would like to be a drafter and or project manager and I wanted to explore a business I could really see myself doing on the side. There's little startup costs. It's easy to sell this business at any time and it's an investment I could grow with low risk. It would give me the flexibility and time my life can handle. It is a business I've been thinking about for a long time. It has true potential. Thank you for listening to my PBV assignment video presentation.